All right, let's talk about sun idols. <clears throat> sun idols aren't a big deal. They don't mean anything unless you're worshiping the sun and then you would be in turn worshiping the dude that is on the light network and not joining forces with the woman or whatever. So the act of worshiping is like to say, hey, you're not with them. You're with them, with me now. So that's like the act of like accepting things or saying that, you know, like acceptance for value or things like that, accepting uh, Jesus Christ or accepting this, accepting that or accepting contracts. All right. So uh, let's understand this. This uh, let's understand what it means and to comprehend what this this uh, this idolization is. So when you see these presidents, the ones that are doing, and this is some serious uh, deceptive, like reversal of truth, like onto itself, like numerous times over. Because if you uh, if you take a good look at this whole presidency, you're going to say he was the good one. He stood for slavery. That's why he's facing this. He's facing the East and everybody's facing the West. Well, uh, the truest de deceivers are facing the East. Mr. Cheeks, he faces the West. So the ones that are not really that deceptive are all facing the West too. But the real true deceivers are facing the East. And uh, <clears throat> Abraham Lincoln, your Martin Luther King, your Al Sharpton, your uh, Jesse, all of the ones that you think are, oh my gosh, I love those guys. Those are the biggest deceivers of, of all of them. And, uh, you know, oh, we're going to free the slaves and then make everybody slaves. That's he didn't he didn't mean to make it look like he was freeing slaves, but they had to do it that way. So nobody would, you know, according to the story uh, that that we all have learned, which could just be another mind control story, which could be another deception on top of a deception on top of a deception on top of a deception going on and on. I mean, let's take a look at the sun here. Now we know where Cabbage Patch Kids comes from. See that? <laughs> it's just the 1800s uh, pirate map look. But uh, and you notice I made it real smooth on his head, but the rest of the rays are like kind of rough. I'm going to clean them up. But uh, this, sh this shroud of rays that kind of come out and burst in this big curse of light, this expanded like explosion is very popular with 1800s, 1900s. It has a very uh, gold value look to it, which I like. Not to say that gold has value beyond the deception of gold being put in a system, just like this stuff. Gold is, uh, it has a metaphysical property, not a material, uh, financial stability property. Because <laughs> those are just fictions. Those are fictional concepts to take you into another direction, which is just a deception on top of a deception. On top of a deception. So, all right, so what do we, what do we see here? All right, so we got... The greatest deceivers looking to the east. You hear these these singers and these songs. They just keep on looking to the east. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. That's what they mean by that. So even though the Pac Man Moon that's following the sun is also facing the west, he's looking east. So it's looking to the east, even though it's facing west. Pretty interesting, huh? Yes, Mr. Cheeks is very gorgeous. He's like he's like an astounding, beautiful man. Like all these cherubs are just gorgeous, man. You see them, you're like, whoa. And then these cherubs also, something interesting to take note, is that they don't look like anything you've ever seen of this world. Like they don't look like anything you've seen. Like if you think that uh, seeing the devil is like seeing a midget, it's not the same. It's like this dude is a little man. You understand? Is this not even like a Oompa Loompa? Because those are played by dwarfs and uh, midgets. But if you see this dude, you'd be like, "Wait!" If you see Mr. Cheeks, you're like, "Wait!" Anyways, because 